Hello, hello, no excuses, ladies. Welcome to the show, episode number 24. I am Eva Eckert and I am your host. So what is the No Excuses Ladies all about? The no Excuses Ladies weekly show is for all of you ladies out there who have been struggling with making too many excuses and find themselves being unhappy and successful in life. This weekly show will teach you how to apply the no excuses mindset in all areas of your life with the foundation of health and wellness so you can succeed in life. You can move the needle forward with the necessary tools provided by me. No Excuses Tribe is welcoming all of you out there, all of you badass ladies out there, and for those of you who want to become a badass in real life. I am here to help you, to support you, to guide you, and to lead you to your full potential. I will teach you the power of self-belief, motivation, discipline, and mastermind alliance so you can stop making the excuses and desire and create the life that you truly believe it's for you, it's for you, for you only, so you can become the best version of you and create, again, the life that you truly desire. So welcome to the show again. Super excited. Episode number 24. Can you believe it? 24 episodes. It's been quite some time. But I, as, as we go through the episodes, you realize that I always recap a lot of uh, a little things from the previous episodes. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say thank you for showing up today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. And, and, and thank you for participation because I love to see you guys participating. I'm going to wait for you my husband always say, do not wave. This is creepy. And I, you know what? And I absolutely love it. So we have, I have all this social media set up here. Uh, I will show you behind the scene later on after we, when we're going to be done with the episode and you can see how I set everything up, but just to, um, just to give you an, a, a, a little recap from a last week episode, we were talking about the ownership. And if you look for the, all the episodes that we I have done, we have, of course, Facebook page, and you're more than welcome to join. But I have my YouTube channel here that you can more, more welcome to join and see the previous episodes. All the episodes are on the Facebook page. You can see them all, but you can also join the Facebook, right? And, and just uh, see what's going on, what we have been talking about. We talk about habits. We talk about so many good things that really, it's a gold one. If I tell you, if you grab a pen and paper today, take these notes, it's going to really open up a lot of things for you and you're going to answer a lot, a lot of things. So uh, again, if you are on Facebook, if you are participating me on Facebook, please join the community and create a short video of yourself and 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 really two to three minutes video and introduce yourself to the group and say what is what is there that you're looking for or uh, what are you uh who would you like to connect what what is what is that that you're searching for because we always have something in our lives that we're looking for we wanted to find either a, a connection on a, or a knowledge right so write it down make sure that you do that and that you interact with us and again Guys, being in front of the camera, uh, participating in social media, this is a new life and we need to go over the fear. Nothing will happen. It's just the screen. And if you screw up, so be it. We are all the same. We are humans. We make mistakes. And once you're going to realize this, it's going to help you to achieve anything in life. Stop overthinking. Just go for it. So create that video. That's number one. Number two. Please, my gift to you is schedule your 15 minutes a call with me. It's going to change your life. It's a coaching call that will change your life. So do it today. My link will be posted here on, in, on Instagram. You guys going to get, uh, you have the link in my regular feeds. You can find it there. On YouTube, you have a link that you can literally click, submit your information. We're going to get on a call. We're going to discuss very valuable things for you. Now, <clears throat> On, on a Facebook page, you already have this link. You just need to click and submit your information. So then again, it's a 15 minutes free call. So don't be afraid and just maybe ask yourself a question why this is 
that I need this now? Why is it now? Why do I need a coach? Why do I need a mentor? Why do I need to schedule that call? There is in all of our lives, I would pinpoint certain things that all of us need a mentor. And we know that we went over this. This is very, very crucial in scaling in your life, my friends. So now today's topic, I know that a lot of you have been requesting and waiting for the topic. We, I always say we talk about health and wellness, and this is the foundation. We talk about a lot of different things, but today the episode will be about health and wellness. I wish I had known this years ago. That's really the topic, the recipe to stay fit and healthy for life. So grab a pen, paper, paper and pen, be, be really focused, no distractions, just take some notes today because it's so valuable. And for those of you who will be replying this later, do the same thing because this is going to be a knowledge that will stay with you for life. So now I have a question for all of you. Do you guys feel overwhelmed with the amount of information that it's out there on social media? I'm talking about health and wellness. Do you feel like uh, you're jumping from one thing to the next? You you, you start, to start researching one thing, then the next. You cannot really stay focused and controlled as far as looking for the perfect way to lose weight. That's what I'm asking you for, because uh, what I've realized, and as a coach of 20 years, uh, having multiple locations in New York of uh, a voted number one uh, training center, uh, we uh, did a case studies for over 20,000 people, and we found the same kind of thing. People want, you want the best magical thing for weight loss do you want that one thing that will leave you that that will give you that happy and healthy life right you want that one thing that it's it's like it's gonna take that weight off of you so you can feel free that's it's it's been well known for many people and guys this stuff is not easy but everyone can do this. And I'm looking at the camera right now, right straight to the camera. You can do this. If I have done it, you can do this. You can be in the best shape of your life. You can achieve the weight loss. You can lose a hundred pounds. You can. We have done it to many people. We were the support, the mentor, the guide, the trainer, the coach, the push, the, the suffer, and all of it. We were there. We've done it. I've done it myself. I put my hands. I I helped people lose over hundred pounds. Uh, uh, over hundred pounds. I had many clients that lost tremendous amount of weight, and I know that. For those of you who need to lose tremendous amount of weight, that this is a weight bearing. You, you, you struggle. It is a struggle for many people. It's a struggle for many people, not necessarily to lose only 100 pounds, but 50, 20. Overall, it's a struggle for people to stay fit and healthy. And um, I believe because it's so much information out there nowadays, it's like, uh, you're jumping from thing to thing, right? Because you want that one thing that will help you. And what, what you're jumping from is really from one diet to the next. Realize that. Somebody created something. Like think about Atkins. Think about all these different diets. Somebody created something. They did some study, worked on people, and now they're throwing this stuff in and you jumping forward and you're taking it, but it's not sustainable because it's diet because diets don't work. So for those of you who've been, you know, like really struggling with this, you have no patience, right? Because you start one program, you start, you committed, you motivated, and something happened in your life. Maybe you put a, 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 a nice dress and it was tight. Maybe you put a suit and it was like uncomfortable and you're like, I gotta change this, I gotta do this. So you feel that internal motivation. So you start the program. But the problem is a diet. It's another diet. So it causes you to uh, to to really lower your intake of the calories. Uh, it, it causes you to, not immediately, but a week later, start feeling stro stressed, overwhelmed, not enough energy because lower your calories intake. You kind of start feeling frustrated at other people. The world starts really crumbling upon you and you're not even feeling yourself. That's what happens. And that's a common thing. That's a common mistake. So. 
after maybe losing some weight, you're quitting, so you gain the weight back. It's like the ongoing yo-yo effect. It's an ongoing thing. It's that roller coaster that people go through nonstop. And I've seen it. I've seen it. I've watched people doing it over and over again. And it's like endless, right? So eventually you feel like I'm done. I think I just have to settle for being maybe overweight or unhappy. I think a lot of you will be like, I guess this is it. I have to live with this. You internally don't want to. You want something else, but it's because you're tired of not seeing the results that you want. And I get you. And there have been a lot of people like that till they actually found, first of all, peak physique. Second of all, understood the power of eating healthy. Understood that everything, what we do, starts with your mind. That's where it all starts. It doesn't start from just making the dish of healthy food. It starts up here. This is your control. This is your navigation. This is your GPS system. This is your map. This is your guide right here. So we got to work on this, right? And stay here. Stay with me. Don't go anywhere. You can put it down that it starts with your, with your mind. Absolutely. But let me tell you, over... I would say over 30 years ago, not even 25, like literally 30 years ago, when I first had that connection with fitness, I struggled, but I didn't struggle with weight. I wasn't overweight, but yet I wanted to lose weight. And it's a common thing for young girls that get into this. Those of you who know my story, who, who know my story, who, who, who've heard me saying this, I went through anorexia in life. It was a very painful uh, part of my life. Uh, lots of struggle. Um, uh, it was the sickness. And I understand all the women or all the people out there who went through this it's it's a very hard disease to battle and it starts with your mind so back in the day i wish i had a mentor like me who would have told who would have told me exactly what i need to do who would have told me girl don't diet don't do this crazy stuff. That's not how you're going to live your life. You're going to be up and down. You're not going to feel the happiness. And the happiness comes from us, from within. Nobody can give you happiness. You, you have to discover it yourself, right? So that search for happiness, for food, for not eating, for thinking that being skinny will give me this, it caused me like a literally roller coaster. I remember like today, Doing a yogurt diet, trying to eat only yogurts, trying not to eat till noon, doing a Atkins diet. Then a friend of mine, we had a time in our country, and I come from Poland, that we had the Kwaśniewski diet. That was our president who it came, the name came from him or his wife doing this crazy diet. I don't exactly remember, but I, I remember Kwaśniewski diet. There, there was some kind of a soup, cabbage soup, that had literally no calories, and you would eat that for three days straight to lose weight. Guys, listen, how does this sound? It sounds horrible. You can't even get nutrients to your body. Uh, what is this quick fix? Quick fix never work. Anything in life that happens so quickly, when you think about it, this is either a luck or most of the time is the work behind the scenes when you see a drop of the weight of someone or someone has been successful in something. A work has been done behind the scenes that you normally would have seen. I have to drink some water, guys. Drink your water, please. You always see me drinking. Important, we are made out of water. Just on a side stuff. So um, I remember doing this, searching and trying to, not even understanding the whole idea of it. You know, it was just bizarre. It was just going from one thing to the next. It didn't, it really didn't make sense and didn't work. And I know that some of you struggling with this right now, I can feel it, I can understand it. Uh, and uh, jumping from one th thing to the next, trying to get that quick fix, and you want it now. That's what you want. I want it now. You, you, you put on 
20, 30 pounds over the course of two months. But yeah, you want to lose weight right now the next day. Guys, it doesn't work like this. Unfortunately, it does not work like this. So you actually paying the price right now for what you have done. That's what it is. That's what it is. You put on weight from unhealthy eating. Stick with me because I'm going to be giving you the keys to success. But my point is, in my story, in my title, when I said it, I wish I had a mentor. I wish I had someone that told me there is a way. If you look around for these people that are healthy, they're healthy looking. They're not very skinny. They're healthy, right? They're healthy looking. That there is a way of doing this. And after 20 years of our peak physique doing studies on people, training with people, discovering what works, what doesn't, and how we should be doing this stuff, we put it together a plan. But the plan is really well known to everybody. It's just people don't apply it. They don't apply it. So grab a pen and paper because the truth is being revealed. First of all, diets don't work. Get this, get this. Diets don't work. You can't jump from one thing to the next. It will never work. You need to understand the proper food, the proper eating. So it will give you the most amazing energy. Are you ready? Are you ready for me to reveal the truth? All right, so I will give you the recipe, but you, I have to have a commitment and promise from you today. And you're going to repeat after me. I promise to implement everything, whatever tells me. And I promise that I will change my bad habits into the good habits. I need that promise from you today, guys. Because I know a lot of peak freaks that I've seen on social media, the ones that stick with us, they still continue doing the same. The ones that left and floating somewhere in the space, they're flowing in the space with everything else too. Most of the time, they lost the grip. They don't know what's good, what's not, even though they do. Hello, Pam. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining. This is awesome. So first of all, this, the, 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 the commitment to yourself. Listen, this is your temple. The head, the face, the legs, the arms, this is your temple. You got to take care of it. No one else will do that for you guys. This is the most important asset of your life. It's your body. You need to understand this. You need to get this down, okay? So self-belief. What I mean by this? Understanding that you have the ability to do that. I know that your past might not it almost can be like hard for you to even say it. Like you might have a problem just speaking it out loud because you've had a bad experience, but leave that bad experience because you've been jumping from things to things. Now, this is the truth. So say it, self-belief. I will believe in my ability to figure things out. I will understand that this is a process, that this will not happen overnight that I need to be very disciplined, that I need to be consistent, that I need to put in action and not make excuses. That's what the show is all about. Do not make excuses. If you stop making excuses in your life, you're gonna have much better life and you're gonna realize that the universe will bring you better things, better connections, better life in general. So did you write all these things down? Because this is important. Get a mentor. Get someone that will keep you accountable. Having accountability partner, it's fantastic. If you cannot hire someone like me, get a person that will keep you accountable. With me, you're going to have accountable accountability daily. Daily. There is work to be done daily. And I only take people that are serious. That's why we do that 15 minutes call, right? So number, number one, we're going to start with this. Your body needs protein, carbs, and fats. We're not going to be going into detail because I would spend, I can do a whole collection, a whole seminar of days and days talking about it. What I wanted you to understand, that your 
body is built out of protein. Meaning if you're training, you want that lean muscle, you want higher metabolism, you need to eat protein. Okay. That's what the muscle is built from. Now you need carbohydrates for energy, right? You need carbohydrates for energy. Energy, but I'm talking about the good carbs that coming from vegetables, you know, like not the starchy ones. We're gonna leave the starchy alone, like the carrots and the and the potatoes. We're gonna leave those alone. We want the good vegetables, green vegetables, spinach, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, right? All kinds of greens, right? Those are the carbs. Now you can also get the carbs from fruits. But I would suggest you one for the day, not more, because fruits have a lot of sugar. Okay, carbohydrates will be kept in your body as a form of energy. Carbs are necessary for your brain. Then you need fa fats, right? Fats are also, we need fats to uh, dissolve the vitamins, to help us with our hormones, right? We need the fat for our brain, our function, or lubrication of the joints, a lot of things. So this is just basic. The, the key to stay fit and healthy for life, this is, again, based on our, my experience, our experience with big physics, our case studies, is number one. I will give you an abbreviation for it. Are you ready? S-Y-D-W-P, which is start your day with protein. Write it down. Start your day with protein. Create your abbreviation. Or maybe you just want to create a different abbreviation. Get up on protein. Or begin your day with protein. Something that will say this, it's stick in your head. Get up and do it. And why this is necessary? Because protein will make you feel full. Protein will, uh, will sustain the energy longer. Protein will build the lean muscle when you work out. Even if you don't work out, if you deliver one gram, to 1.5 gram of the protein per your body weight, you're gonna achieve amazing results. One gram to 1.5 per pound of your body weight. So each person is different. You see that? You see that? You see this personalization right here? Awesome. Now, number two, you need to eat protein. Your protein should have 50% of your daily calories intake. And when I see the breakdown of people when they send me their fitness pal or when I, uh, on our application, when we have, you see, we have the workout application that you see the workouts and then there are other apps connected with it. It's really cool. I see people don't eat enough protein and that's the, the, the number one problem with a lot of people. They eating carbs, loads of carbs. Carbs, 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 right? Carbs, late carb, up, up, now it's just carbs. And they having a problem losing weight because then they, they're looking and they're like, I didn't even eat that much. I didn't eat that much and I'm gaining weight, of course, because you're just loading yourself on carbohydrates. You can't burn that much carbs. The carbs will be used for your workout activity. If you are sedentary, your brain will not burn that many carbs, guys. You getting, you getting it, you getting it? I hope you are, drink your water. Now I'm gonna give you a very quick formula. One ounce to 1.5 ounce per pound of your body weight. So if somebody like me weighs 125 or 124 pounds, I will get 124 or 125 pounds ounces a day or more on the hot days we live in california it's freaking hot today at at 9 a.m it was already screaming hot you know heat coming from the sky and i do activities and today i did some crazy spartan, spartan training outside that was so much heat i will be drinking more water and this is what you need to do so drink water we are made out of water. Without water, you can't metabolize. And the number one problem that I've seen with clients over and over again, some people drink a bottle of water a day. How on earth can you lose the weight? How on earth can you have your skin hydrated, your gums, your, your whole body? How can you actually sweat? You can't even sweat if you don't, if you dehydrate it. 
Plus, your brain needs hydration. If you're going to get dehydrated, you're going to get fuzzy, you're not going to have clear thinking, your urine will be yellow, and you're going to be running into difficult some, some problems with your whole body. Don't do it. Start drinking your water now. Next, 25% of your carbs, 25% of your total calories intake should be coming from carbohydrates. Now you have an idea, carbs. We talk about it. 25 from fats, the same in percentage. That's the breakdown that we did. And that was just, boom, mind-blowing for a lot of people. Number six, avoid salt, sugar, and flour. Those are three poisons, literally. Avoid it. Avoid it like fire. Too much salt will be storing water. We can go into another episode of talking about it. Salt, sugar, and flour. Avoid foods like healthy pizza, healthy candy, healthy ice cream. If you would have to choose between obviously eating, um, you have a choice. Okay, should I go for the pizza or should I go and have, buy a healthy pizza? Here comes the thing. You might be surprised. Have you ever actually looked at both of them and look at the amount of protein, carbs, sugar, and fat, sodium, and calories in between both of them? You would be surprised that a lot of times the healthy, because consider healthy because it's made out of cauliflower, pizza has the same amount of carbs and fat as a regular one. So a lot of gimmicks nowadays on the market are not really the most healthiest options. They have healthier ingredients, but the amount of calories, fats, sometimes even added sugar might not be the best for you. So my suggestion, make your own. You don't know how to make a pizza after this episode. Send me a message. I'm going to give you a fun recipe. So easy. You can make it yourself. It takes you five minutes and you know what you're putting in. The same with ice cream. Maybe the whole idea is, yes, frozen yogurt. Absolutely. But here comes the thing. A lot of times when you're trying to get better, when you're trying to uh, get to the next level of, of, um, of staying healthy, achieving the weight loss, what happens is you try to fight the missing things. Okay, so maybe I can get some ice cream, but it's healthier. And instead of just saying, you know what? I can live without ice cream. I, I've been eating ice cream for 20 years. Now it's not the time. I just have to stay a little strict, have the enough willpower power and strengthen my brain to do this because everybody can. So instead of trying to replace the bad food with the semi-good food, that it's really not that good for you. And that's why you're not seeing the results because you're literally delivering the same calories that you've been doing before and you're not working out, you actually maybe sometimes even delivering more fat and more carbs than before. And then you're wondering why you're not losing the weight. Stay literally clear and clean. That's what it is. Avoiding certain things, don't mix them. Stay with the list that I tell you. It's very simple. Just, just applying it and it's gonna work, I guarantee you. Now, number eight, eat every two to three hours. A, lo a lot of you, and I see this again with our over 20,000 people when we've been training in peak physique in our multi-locations in New York, that was the same common thing. A person with consultation would not eat at all. The most overweight people would not eat all day long and they would wait till late at night. And this will not give you the results. What happens is your body is fighting. You deprive your body. You starve your body. When you, when you starve your body, your body will literally shut down in a point that it's going to be storing the fat as much as it can. I'm going to show you something, guys. It's right here. This is the fat. This is five pounds of fat. It's jiggly. It's nasty. We don't like that stuff, don't we? Right? Yes, nobody likes it. So think about this yellow thing each time you starve, each time you, uh, you not pay attention 
how to eat. So my offer to you and my suggestion to you as your coach, as your mentor, as your guide, put a reminder of your phone, grab that phone. If you have a problem with eating, put it every two, three hours reminder on your phone. Eat, eat, eat Brenda, eat Brendan, eat Susie, eat Pamela, eat cheese match, not, not sure what it is, but eat it, put your name on it. So it's gonna call your name. I got it, guys, I get it. Because what happens is when you're busy, when you're when you're working on a project, when you may be exciting or a little stress, both of these things work the same way on your body. The sense of um, feeling um, that you want to eat, it kind of stops. You're not there because your body is using all this energy to concentrate on a task. So it's like really eating is on a second row. But here comes the thing. You need to train yourself to do that. So once you're going to train your body to, to give you, the body will start giving you the um, almost like their own clock. It's going to be like you're going to start feeling the stomach rumbling. You're going to know that it's time to eat. That's what it's been doing to me. But I've been doing this for many years. There's no such a thing as no matter how important the task is, whatever I do, um, I will always have after 45 or 50 minutes or 60 minutes max, a break, a water. I mean, all, water is always with me on my desk, but it's every two, three hours I'm eating. There's not such a thing I will go all day long without food. And I'm telling you this right now, this is going to be breakthrough in your weight loss in staying fit for life in becoming the best version of you. I am telling you this right now. Stop dieting. Uh, we are meant to eat our bodies, our we are meant to eat. Like, think about how does it sound, starving yourself. You are a machine. This body, this empire, this this uh, 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 this beautiful thing that you have and you move around and you think and you play and you work out with, this is you. You need to, the temple that you have, you need to take care of it. You need to hydrate it and you need to give the food. If you don't, it shuts down in very crazy ways. That's why. This is going to be produced and stored in your system. You don't want that. So write it down. Every two, three hours, you got to eat. Stop starving. Stop starving. You're going to starve. You're going to be gaining weight. You're not going to lose the weight. Again, there is no diet here. I, didn't, I will never offer you any diet because I don't believe in diets. I'm teaching you healthy stuff, healthy food, healthy eating. That's what it is. Health. It takes a while to process it and do this. That's why I said, watch this show from the beginning because there is a lot of things that you should not you should not half-assing it or, or, or start watching from halfway through. You need to watch it from the beginning and take notes. That's how I am. That's how I got results. I'm very strict about it and I will tell you straightforward how it is. Now, stop grazing and... And finishing someone else's food. This is a common thing for girls, like the, the, the moms. Moms will finish the kids' food. When they don't eat it, they will finish it. They will, they will be eating all day long. All, they will be eating all day long. They will be literally, uh, food will be nonstop. And what happens is then you don't even have a time schedule for your food because you're never hungry because you've been picking on things all day long you've been uh, grazing here grazing and picking up this and then you're never hungry so you never eat anything stop doing this because when it's time for snack it's time for snack so every two three hours let's put it three hours you're gonna have something but not all day long okay we do not eat all day long so get this straight now drink post-workout shakes. The companies purposely designed post-workout shakes so they will deliver the, the uh, amino acids that you need because you're breaking down the muscles. And just to eat food, it's not enough. The food will not have all the amino acids that your body needs to go to the next level, next function. You need to have this. So please, guys, please, ladies and gentlemen, start drinking post-workout shakes. If you don't know how to and what to do, send me a message and I will give you the recipe. I will tell you what to do because another thing is 
a lot of you will make the shakes, put bananas, blueberries, strawberries, peanut butter, and it's a bomb that has 800, 900 calories, 200 grams of sugar, and then no wonder that you cannot lose weight. That's not how the shake's supposed to look like. Shakes are very simple. We do not add no fruits unless you're really an athlete. You have a very low amount of um, fat in your body and you can add a little bit of sugar there. Other than that, protein shakes but on its own, they have everything what you need. You can add almond milk, unsweetened ice, and you're ready to go. All right? So, uh, again, send me a message. I will be able to give you the, the recipe or the line that's amazing. We use two lines. We use Herbalife and we use Trulene. And it's been absolutely amazing. So, those are the lines that I would suggest you. Um, if you like what you see, if you see the results that we've had, how we are, send me a message. Now, workout five to six days a week. You have to. We are meant to move. We are not meant to just sit. We meant to move. So pray, please work out. Now, and another thing is I know that so many of you go to the gym and you guys try to do it on your own. But that's like me trying to go, I don't know, to hairstyle, uh, being my own hairstylist. You got to think like this, okay? Uh, you know, trying to fix your teeth on your own. I would suggest you have a mentor, have someone that will help you to do that. You need a person that will push you to the next level. Send me a message because, again, our workouts, if you're here in California, you might get lucky and do a training sessions with me directly. Uh, but if you are in New York and other states, the best way, the best bet is for you to join application that we have our workouts in. And then I can connect them with all other applications that I can see how you eat, what you do, and you're going to get a coaching call. So that's super amazing. So again, five to six days a week and have someone that leads you because most of the time I see this, I've seen this in commercial gyms. People go to the gym, always look the same workout, but don't push them. You need a coach. You need someone that is a master of what they do. They have a plan and you need to follow this plan, right? Now, on your off days, go for a walk, go for a bike, stay active. Because I said five, six days to work out, right? But that seventh day, it can be recovery, but still move your body. You don't need to go seven days hardcore training if you don't want to, if your body is sh shutting down, but at least move. Find something that you love. Maybe you want dance. I don't know, but you know what you like. Maybe you like rowing. Maybe you like going kayaking. Maybe you like going hiking like we do. You know, we love biking and hiking and be like super active. So. Do something that you love on the seventh day. Do this. Move. Don't stay in front of TV because you worked out six days a week. Now, do strength training. This is very important because, again, three times a week you should have some strength training because what happens is – I got to drink my water. Mm. Because what happens is when you do an abnormal amount of cardio – your body will be skinny loose. You probably will be losing a lot of calories, but you're not going to have the, 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 the tension, the tonality in your body, in your muscles that you really want. And you're going to get frustrated because I, I've heard the stories constantly and I see this with women and I always try to tell them, look, don't do too much cardio. If you're doing boxing with me and you're going for a run for another five to six miles, that's a little bit overtraining and it's too much cardio. You, if you want your body to go to the next level, you need to do strength training. You need to do lifting. You need to uh, do some body weight exercises, like push up, pull up, dips and rows. Uh, you, you can uh, add obviously to plyometric, but lifting weights is primarily to build the muscle. You want to one power per, per, one per, pound of muscle will give you 50 calories to burn. So think about this. Strength training has to happen. At the age of 26 to 27, we start losing uh, the muscle mass. You start feeling, oh my God, I cannot, I, I, something is going on. The metabolism is not the same. It's not. That's why you need to strength train. And I tell you, I look better than ever. I obviously, we all age, but my body was never that toned in my early 20s. I, I grabbed that tonality as I was lifting weights, changing my workouts, changing my routine, eating healthier, eating more than ever. Because if you listen to this story, when I was anorexing years ago, I would starve. I would not eat, jump from diet to diet, was skinny, unhealthy, and lack of energy. 
this will never happen again. I have so much energy all day long because I take care of myself. I do the supplementations exactly what I'm telling you guys today. Now, now again, you know that you have to give a note and say no to too much cardio. So remember this, the strength training and the cardio, right? So again, when you have a coach, the coach will direct you. The coach will tell you what to do. So that's something that you might think, okay, one-on-one will be the best option for me. And I need a coach. I need a program. I need a mentor. Now, GTSOP, write this down again. GTSOP, go to sleep on protein. Those are my sayings based on my case studies over the course of 20 years again, okay? So go to sleep on protein. Please do not go starvation. You know, of course, will you lose weight if you stop eating, um, uh, you know, late at night? Absolutely. But what's going to happen to your muscle? You're going to actually lower down the amount of uh, muscle that you have. So make sure that you are, uh, you are doing the right thing, that you're going to sleep on protein. And that you, uh, like drinking shakes, for instance, drinking shakes is the best way for you to go to sleep on protein because it's light, it's not overwhelming. So guys, as we finishing everything, I hope you got the points. And remember, I, as, as I said before, you're supposed to say the commitment to yourself as I ask you say it to yourself. I'm committing myself to change my habits. I'm committing myself to, to do what I have to do. I'm committing myself to that list. I'm going to do this not tomorrow. Today, people say someday, one day, there's not even an hour calendar. You have seven days a week. So do it now. And, and again, please put uh, in my feed, I because we have all set up here for Instagram and social media, in my feed, you guys see the application for you to fill out information to get a 15 minutes call with me. So do that, do that today. It will change your mind, it will change your life. Now, for those of you who are playing this, you're going to have the same thing. Apply for that 15 minutes call. It will change you. And for those of you who are really looking to change your body, mind, your body, and your nutrition, you most likely we should be sign up for the application that we have and we're starting the amazing new program that with the application you're going to be getting once a month coaching call and the coaching call it's going to be a coaching call of knowledge so 60 to 90 minutes of different topics uh with me and my husband so with this said Guys, thank you so much for joining. This was awesome to have you here. I will look forward to see you next week. Remember, no excuses, ladies. It's every week on Wednesday. Again, if you have any questions, submit it and sign up to my YouTube channel as I'm going live right now. I will talk to you guys later. No excuses.